Mexico. And girls, I have a new battery. So watch out. And Glenda and Glenda said I needed a new battery. Does that mean it never runs down? It never runs down. Twenty-four hours a day. Welcome to the trip. Welcome to Albuquerque. <laughs> Union. It's Tuesday at noon, Albuquerque. Anna? Yes, good morning or good afternoon. 3.30, We are ready. Start just roving now that the camera's on. Here we are. Here we are. Girls. Here we are. Bonnie, welcome to the trip. And, and your you. and your comment's going to be how much longer, George, are you going to do this? That's right. All right. How long are you going to do it, George? <laughs> Five more days. Five more days. <laughs> this is the Albuquerque Airport. Here we are. Oh. The talk about the big boys kind of gets you a little excited. Just a little bit, George. I'm tired right now since we've been oh. <laughs> no, just throw it in, Bill. We are loading up our van, heading off to Taos, which is Taos, which is a, a J. Russell Ross's house in the desert outside here. We're going to be about an hour, an hour and a, no, about a two-hour drive, we understand. Just where it was. Look at here. No, here, come on. We have room. Linda? What about that picture? <laughs> Mass confusion. Carl Middlestad directing the packing of the van. What else would he do? <laughs> That's exactly right. In our van, heading to the desert. Dr. Neil Padgett driving. Carl Middlestad. And have it got to you. What, Elaine, what do you have, honey? She saved her fishes, gold fishes. I didn't have any. We're we're Elaine, they say that's like an aphrodisiac, I've heard. That was our breakfast. Seriously. <laughs> we can really go on a gold fish. You like seafood? Yes. George. Yes. You like seafood? George. <laughs> our father. You are quit feeding me. <laughs> This is a memory of John Crady. <laughs> Long live John Crady, and may he love Baldwin, Baldwin Memorial Pageant. <laughs> <laughs> that went into Russia when it into a less dictatorial type structure. And they've all lost their bloody eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, uh, this is our second bottle of uh, libation for our yeah, trip. It is now at 8,500 feet <laughs> of altitude. <laughs> and this calls for another libation. Our first meal in New Mexico. We're on this little bitty road called the Turqu Turquoise Way. And this is our, <laughs> our Mine Chef Tavern. And here comes our group. We're, we're slowly getting out. And welcome to Mine Shaft Tavern. So I hope you don't get the shaft. I hope nobody gets the shaft in here. <laughs> what? In another five years, we can't drive in that. Tavern. I was going to say, girls, you all barely got out this time. <laughs> this is our little restaurant. <laughs> Gray Harley had right here. Women who rode away. That's Lane Langford behind Bill. New Mexico. This is their upscale housing. It's up. I don't know about upscale. Dr. Bill Langford has ended. Bill, you've ended up with all the women. <laughs> yeah. There's a little sign here. What's going on in Midrick? Showing the trip.
Oh, in the old days. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is an all-time low for the video camera. This is an all-time low. Uh, Carl, Carl is adding a little water to the creek below. Right out of Dixon, New Mexico. This is a phenomenal house. It's, this has eight bedrooms. How many baths, Bonnie? Eight. <laughs> This is the little kitchen. Home. So glad you all could come. I always bring three girls at a time because there's so much room here. <laughs> yes, we have lots of room. Would you play hide and seek? Hide and seek. Kiss the girls. <laughs> in the camera. Hi, George. Say who you are so the camera can pick it up in the darkness. Hi, George. I'm John. <laughs> There are bodies out here in this. America. Hey, America. Erica. Oh, Erica. I'm Millennium. Inside, lock the door. Pretty dark out here, here for this jacuzzi. This moon, while all eight of us are out here in this big jacuzzi. Great. Bill, here's my question. Okay. What's if you question? could ask to be with any other women in the world, would there be any that you would wish that were here that aren't? Absolutely not. Listen, to it. Neil. Absolutely. If there could not. be any woman in the world that's not here, would you even wish for them on this trip? George, when you've been to the mountaintop, there's no other place to go. <laughs> Glenda, if you could wish for any other man, honey. Who's not on this trip? Who would it be? Who would it be? Who would it be, honey? Well, they're all in this magazine. Oh. <laughs> People. Join them. Uh, George, let's talk about the Pope. Oh, look, the Pope. <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> let's talk about what we're going to have for dinner. We're going to have donkey dicks tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> and we're going to sing John Brady's song. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we, we're we finishing our first evening wine, on our trip. And we will go out and we'll have and a good meal. Bonnie, no you look so nice and relaxed, honey. John, the only person who's not here who's been revered on all trips is John Crady. John Crady. John Crady, we're so sexy in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> <laughs> Just you out of uh, Jay Russell's house looking over the gorgeous mountains here. Where all eight of us had a great time last night. And there's a little ducky there on the floor that was here when we got here. Gorgeous house. It's uh, all, literally all wood. Uh, it's got gorgeous wood floors and wood ceilings inside. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Great for the setting here. And uh, the house of Jay's house when we coming in. This gives you a great uh, view. There's our Suburban we've got for the week. And there's a two or three car garage around the side there. But, but this is just a uh, really a neat house. And we're really enjoying it. And the uh, lodge is up here. Here's a beautiful, beautiful ski area. There's not many people here today because it ain't no snow. November begins their ski season. Very beautiful area. Tourists who are left over from last year's ski season still practicing, shushing, shushing. Oh, sashimi, sashimi. <laughs> beautiful area. A busy place during the winter, I'm sure. Historic Taos. We're going to shop here for about an hour and a half and meet for lunch. Interesting little area. I'm here with the blonde bombshell. There she goes. There she goes. Where she shops, nobody knows. Going to lunch on Wednesday. Here comes part of our group. Gorgeous area back in here. Beautiful little shops. Boy, there's a, there's a warrior. There's a shopping warrior. I love little tea sets. <laughs> Like little, hey girls, gosh you, all, gosh you all look good. Not that close, George. Hi, <laughs> <Hi> George. <laughs>
for a restaurant here, the Apple Tree, and uh, we'll have a great lunch today on Wednesday. Ann is demonstrating the menu, and for once, Carl doesn't have to read it for us, since we're not in a foreign country. Please read the menu for us, carrying out your proud tradition. And, je ne comprends pas, monsieur, mais le menu, le menu est très, très, très délicieux. Le spécial de... There's a nice couple. And would you give Neil a big kiss on his cheek? <laughs> what are you planning to do in the back seat of this van this afternoon? <laughs> I'm going to sleep. For a chance to dream. <laughs> okay. With or with without bungee cord? Without bungee cord. <laughs> no bungee cord, just sleep. And are you disappointed over that answer? I'm, I'm very disappointed. I'm not going to sleep. Amorous. Never in the crowd. Uh, Carl Middlestad has found several statues here that have caught his attention. The cameraman, therefore, ooh, wow. What do we have here, please? Um, what do we a have? lovely day. A lovely day. <laughs> Art collection here in Taos. Very interesting. Pottery. There's a beautiful duo. <laughs> Girls. Please, no shop talk, please. And He's looking through a far eye. It's my pleasure to have you as a social photographer. Uh, I, I've determined you have a keen eye and a steady hand, which is, is very important in your position as a social photographer. Now, Ann, let me explain the lady on my left. I found her at J. Russell Ross's house last night. <laughs> She'd gotten lost here. She'd been there for three months, gotten lost in all the living bedrooms. But she's so glad to find me. And we're going to stay together for the rest of the trip. That's okay. Statue. Iron. Cast iron. Glenda. What a haughty thing. Kit Carson. <laughs> Established church, Taos, New Mexico. Is in the car in front of us, Latin What's Dreams. The, the girls are hot to trot in our van. George, yeah. I, I love your new hat. Lane, uh, thank you. Uh, this hat, Glenda has said that I may look like a true cowboy with this hat. And I have a pair of boots. I don't have them on right now, but tomorrow I'll try to have my entire outfit on. Well, George, I really like that belt buckle. Thank you. Now, this belt buckle is a true, authentic Western belt. My shirt looks pretty <laughs> Western, and I have some Western ideas. Really? And uh, so tonight, uh, in the hot tub, I'm going to wear my hat, my new cowboy hat in the hot tub. Well, good. <laughs> Or, or I might let Carl use it to cover himself. Well, he gets in the tub. Thanks for filming me. You're Bill? Yes, Bill. Uh, how long has it been since George W. Bush has used marijuana? <laughs> uh, probably, for medicinal purposes, it's been several years. <laughs> well, he's gone from more than seven to no less than 25. Well, I think yeah. that's a good range, George. That's kind of answer most of us would give. <laughs> Judging on our present president, Mr. Clinton, I think his answer is pretty precise. <laughs> Here's the uh, cowboy's favorite cowgirl. <laughs> Let me have your hat. Yes, George. Tell me, you know, with that hat on and your outfit, you could go to a rodeo. Be a lot of cowboys attracted to you. Only the ones over 60. Well, if they knew that you had all your assets that you've got. It's only your debt. Honey, I'm talking about the other kind of assets. <laughs> what do you think, Bill? Now, now, Doc, Dr. Bill Langford is our chef. Is our chef for the evening. We're going to grill some steaks. Yes, here we are. Yes, we're all excited. Soak our steaks in bourbon. Oh, you were yes. <laughs> These are our steaks for the evening, prepared by Chef Carl Middlestock. Uh, would you like me to uh, <laughs> present them? Please. Huh? Please. We actually slaughtered the beef this afternoon. <laughs> Up on a high mesa. <laughs> okay. All of you get over there. Hey, Barney. Yeah, get it. Oh, I got it. It's great. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Carl's running. Neil and Bonnie are dancing. Glenda and Lane and Ann are cooking. <laughs> and would you and Glenda like to dance? <laughs> table that the gals have fixed. Isn't this a great evening meal? And there's an old cowboy at the bar. He's been here for a couple of years. Actually, he got lost in one of the bedrooms downstairs, and he just made it back upstairs. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, I tell you, those cowgirls are so... Yeah, you bought something good for the Greek salad. We did this summer, this spring. We roasted the whole night. Well, our son, our, our, son, our nephew, who kind of walked in the store, we had a big party. Mm. I know. George, George is so quiet. You know, came <laughs> it's very quiet. <laughs> and I and it said, and it slipped, and he said, I got him in, but I can't get him out. He said, I appreciate it if you doctors could help me. So he put Lindley up and examined us in Lindley. He said, I can't get this thing out, and it's going to mm, sound like a damn little Mazda rotary engine in there just going on there. <laughs> Middle East smiled, and she said, oh, my well, doctor said, if you can't get them out, so would you put me some fresh, fresh Duracells in there? <laughs> 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 I do it. 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 I I, this camera will pick up the beautiful music. And I would like to say that us cowboys, we may look like cowboys, but we like good music too. <laughs> we don't song? just like country music. Yeah, and what else, George, did you want to say to the camera? Well, I don't, nothing else. What about those carrots? What? What about those carrots? Here's my commitment. If Linda will be a good wife between now and our next trip, I will consider a nice diamond ring for her. George, cut out the damn law you're talking to, and let's give it to us straight. Consider it, and if those are not words you want to hear, you can go out and get it. You got to do it, folks. Who is watching? No PDA, no PDA, please. My gosh, my, my. Uh, Bill and Lane Langford, go on to the bedroom. We'll clean up. Go on to the bedroom. We'll clean up. Look at her arms, her, her, her shoulders, her body movement. It's an old story telling a new story. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Here's Carl. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, this is this is foreplay. <laughs> Couple, but look at the unusual hand that he has here. See, he's the cook on our trip, and he has to wear this cooking glove at all times to keep his hands sterile. <laughs> this is the Michael Jackson look-alike dance. <laughs> you own toilet paper to people you love. <laughs> this is a true waste of toilet paper, however. They're on. Yes. While I'm dancing, while I'm this lawsuit, I'm thinking about a 10 carrying knife. Remember, 
George, we have this on film. But I can edit the film when I copy it. <laughs> and the tin can become a 1.0 very quickly. It's Thursday morning, we're on our way to Santa Fe. Outstanding view here. Lano. Hey, Lano. And here's a two of our compatriots getting ready to bungee jump. The Royal Gorge of Colorado Springs. I'm on the other side of the bridge filming, and this is uh, very spectacular. Dr. Bill Langford cautiously walking out on this bridge because he's a little, little tender on heights. Hey, Bill. Wave to the camera. I'm catching your careful walk. Man, and this is the Vista view. Isn't it gorgeous, guys? Really spectacular. Really spectacular. You, uh, again, your your walk was very uh, firm, cautious. Uh, you, you, noted, you noticed that I was taking very deliberate steps. Very deliberate steps. And hold down very tightly to the rail. <laughs> Carl, I mean, George, Carl found some new friends on the bridge. I, I know he did. They're from Germany. Okay. They're speaking German as we speak. Uh, village. It's a court. And we're not supposed to be filming, so this is kind of clandestine operation here. If I'm arrested, this will be my last recorded message. This is where people live and work, and it's very interesting. It's kind of a combination. There's some new mostly over there. Okay. Cliff, oh, cliff uh, dwellings built in the 1400s. We're going to walk up there. Look, there's an Indian squirrel. We're all excited. Oh, I'm I. Water the canyon draining the mountains. What it is, what they're saying is all the drainage formed these things back in there. Yeah. What do y'all think so far? I think we have a long way to go. Long way to go. <clears throat> Gorgeous scene right here. group climbing up to the cliff dwellers. They say that they're waiting eagerly for us to come today. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> think we're right up here at some of the caves where they lived. There goes Dr. Pageant, like a little monkey, <laughs> a little blue ball monkey, climbing, climbing, always. She's going to stay down with Glenda and uh, Bill. What is up this way, Carl? This is where families lived and had babies and made babies and than this. It just doesn't. Gorgeous. For the cliffs, we drove up here and uh, several of them walked all the way over here. Very pretty. Gorgeous. Now kids, this is a living photograph. Say something nice to the photographer. Makes the girls giggle. <laughs> Guys, I'm watching your hands. Okay, great picture. Great picture. Relaxing. What's the name of this place, Anna? Just Casas Vietas. Dos Casas Vietas. Dos Casas Vietas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we, we're in the uh, swimming pool area of, of their little, this is a bed and breakfast. And I'll give you a little quick look here. Very attractive pool area. Just a really, it's a neat area. We rent a house from Hideaways. You rent through Hideaways. Yeah. Have you ever been... Uh, Dissatisfied with Hideaways? No, we, we had a great experience. By the way, can I get your name for our video of the sure. trip? My name is Bill Langford. I'm 
Eric Smith. Okay, Eric. Great to have you on the video. Uh, to our bed and breakfast off the street. It's kind of interesting. We're heading now for dinner Thursday night. We're going to walk to this restaurant called the... Bill, what's the name of our restaurant? The Pink Adobe. The Pink Adobe. The Pink Adobe on Old Santa Fe Road. Okay. And we're waiting for... Hey, Anna. We're waiting for Carl and Bonnie. They'll be here in a minute. Yes. A couple joining us. Yes, yes. Wait a minute. What, what, honey? When I was a child, I was in the alley. Well, you're sitting in one now. You're sitting in one now. <laughs> here we are, waiting for our little restaurant. We're outside this neat little bar here. That we're going to... We are here, kids. Ready to have a good time this evening. Look. Great restaurant, kids. The Pink Adobe. We just ordered our bottles of wine. Yeah. There's our waiter, who's doing a great job. And there's Anna. And there is Helen uh, Plano. Lane, I just want to say, Ann and I are having a wonderful time on this trip. And of all the trips we've had, we seem closer right now at this moment on this trip than we have in a long time. <laughs> this is what Neil toasted with a moment ago before he realized it. it was not a glass of wine. I got my eyebrows. <laughs> We're now talking about a trip to the Orient. I've been there. It looks like I'm getting roped into so, it. But there are also more. We've been in Hong Kong for a couple, three days, but we take, we venture home to China. You need to get some suits and right. stuff, man. Right, venture home to China. For a day we, we go to the Tiger Bomb Gardens. Tiger Bomb. Oh, yes, Tiger, Tiger Bomb. Bomb. Hey. Tiger Bomb was something to rub on to get rid of the pain and everything. <laughs> well, they made millions out of it. <laughs> Bill, Bill, yeah. Bill. Bill. Wait a minute. Hey, no, Bill, you and Wayne, put your heads together. Here's a comment. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're tired of this public display of affection. It puts a lot of pressure on the rest of us. You understand what I'm saying? I find it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. They're adding by manual dexterity. Look at this. 372. All right. We've had a great evening tonight. $22. Is it planned out, honey? All these sneezes? It bothers On my body, I will be ready. I'm alive. I'm alive. They up at old George. Uh, uh, I've been challenged to tell who George O'Keefe is. George O'Keefe was born to an itinerant family who moved here from Germany in 1893. And what's his name again? George O'Keefe. But wait a minute, wait a minute. He wasn't from Germany, but he was raised in Germany. This is, this is what's unique about this. Listen to this. George O'Keefe. Georgie. How you Was a fantastic guy. He was originally, though, from Owensboro, Owensboro, Kentucky. And then he had a sex, sex change operation. He, did, he had a sex change operation. <laughs> then, he, then, he, then he donated some money to this museum, Lane. And in case my mother is watching this video, which she will be, Mother, I have had such a good time tonight, and I have kind of helped coordinate everyone's food and beverages. Have a drink. And I'm going to lead. I'm going to lead them back Toast home to our hotel. Yeah. There's our professional yeah. photographer. Look at this. Look. Look at the way she strides. Yeah. Very, very confidently. Over there? Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, girls, where are we? Where are we standing? I know, but what? What's the event? George O'Keefe or Georgia? Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> well known, and we're going to visit now on a Friday morning. We're in the Museum of Fine Art. Yes, and uh, we've just finished and watched a very interesting video over to um, husband couple, husband wife couple that just show their objects that they find in an artistic way. Plaza. Yes. Hey, Nealus. Hey, cowboy. <laughs> this has been the highlight of your trip so far. Okay, your silence tells it all. The silence bar, where it was recommended, where Glenn and I are having lunch here. It's kind of a quaint local spot. Very nice. We're getting a uh, pita and a, some nachos. Okay, we are in the heart of the town. The plaza, which is the main part of town. There's a couple.
Oh, didn't know they were going to do Don, welcome to the video trip. Trip video. Yeah, it's good to have you. John and Judy are here. And uh, Judy, welcome to the uh, video. Yeah, so nice to have you. We're kind of gathered here. It's on a Friday afternoon. It's about 6 o'clock their time. We're going to have a glass of wine. And we're going to can the Coyote Cafe tonight. One of the really great and uh, nice picture of our room. Really a great room. And uh, we've got a nice sitting area out here. Let me show it here. Sorry. Tonight, outside on our patio where everybody's just starting to gather. Judy and John have just gotten in town and joined us, as you know, from previous filming. This is a talking picture, and we want to welcome uh, Judy to the, to the group. To the group. And, and now here's our question. Who is the prettiest girl in this fivesome? The answer is they're all equal. They're all equal. Very politically astute. Wait, guys, it's your turn. It's our place. We're all very spiritually united in this group here. We don't drink, we don't smoke, no sex. We are going to church on Sunday morning. Mother, no sex. I want to officially welcome John Burris to this video. It's good to be here. And he, he adds a lot of quality, substance, backbone, and background. And money. And money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> background. Yeah, there's a lot of knowledge about the Santa Fe area that we don't Have you got that? Why did you? John, Sir? it's uh, Saturday morning and we're heading out with uh, John and Judy, who's our designated trade. John Burroughs making a trade. <laughs> One more shop. Jewelry shop set up along the plaza in Santa Fe. John and Glenda and Judy are rapidly watching, looking, searching for bargains. The eternal search section, and then we're heading down again to the George O'Keefe Museum. We're going to see it again today with John and Judy. Oh. And his new hat. He is excited. Doesn't he look good in that hat? A little, little bit like uh, Clint Eastwood. John Wayne from the New Mexico Arts Festival. This is Dr. Neil Pageant demonstrating a head bandana. Now notice, he, it, it looks like he doesn't know what he's doing, but believe me, he does. He's doing everything. Uh, he and Anna practice this routine in the, in the privacy of their own bedroom, and they're quite good. <laughs> they're quite We've been waiting one hour. Been waiting one hour to get up here. Is everybody happy? Everybody's happy. Carl, are you happy? I'm real happy. <laughs> Okay. I'm happy. Can't you, you know, all the wineries, all the restaurants in Santa Fe, there's three huge tents, and this is only one of three. And food and wine are just everywhere. All you want to eat and taste the various wines, it's really good. Every, you know, just to give you an idea, and this is just one of three tents. already left. He, he's left with greener pastures. So Judy's hanging in with Glenn a few years from now. There they are. These are all the tents, but look at the scenery beyond. This is the Opera House of Santa Fe where this is all set up outside. Huge fundraiser they have here. Huge. Really the man of your choice. Is he in your vision right now? <laughs> Come on now, please. Is he in your vision? Look better my choice. What am I? What am I? One's eager, yet responsive, and responsible. <laughs> ready. Now you state your test. George, when you have the video ready from viewing, notify Bill, Wayne, and I. We will set up a time when we will have a salmon dinner. Will there be any cost to the Thackers for attending this salmon dinner? Yeah, I want this all cleared out in advance. You may have to bring some of that pinning green, of pinnacle green <laughs> wine from Oregon. Oregon. I'll do that. Now, all right. John Let's... and Judy will be invited, and we'll try to give them at least three days' notice. Well, <laughs> so they can get there. Better be careful. Better be careful. We just might come. All right. When you say. Mm -hmm. So this one hasn't been fired. No, this is beautiful fired. pottery made so here. So when it is fired, this must be turned Yeah. Pottery is from about seventy-five dollars to five fifty per piece. It's polished. And it's smoked with horse manure to turn it black. George, to be polished. See, they Isn't that interesting? Nice. And then let it dry, and then carve it. Yeah. Then polish it, and then it'll be. 
like this. Polishing stone. Oh, you're polishing stone. Uh-huh. 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 The plain area is the sky. Oh, everything has everything. Eagle tail and the eagle feathers. And then I etched that uh, lightning in there. Okay. And then that's the flower up in the mountains. Uh-huh. And that's the sun. Okay. And these are um, clouds here. Okay. This is a, but this is the water serpent, That's and this is also the water, water serpent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and about are, how long did it take you to make that? Mm -hmm. You dig a hole, or uh -uh. did you just it's build on it on top? Here. Okay. You lay it on top of tin. Uh huh. Uh huh. These ten right. pieces. Do you fire daily? Do you oh, fire, no. or just once a week, or once a month? Or? What are the weather conditions? I know you don't want it to be too hot because it makes it. Getting an instruction on building the pottery fire. Steam goes up, and at least this is where they make the bread, George. <laughs> we saw the stones the other day, and it looks wonderful. But we didn't buy it. Well, let me say this: it looks a little larger than your all's bread makers at home. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. There's no, no, there's not. Yes. Burrow, here's what I want to say: you've been an outstanding tour guide this morning. And because of that, uh, I'm going to buy you that glass of water that you've got right there. It's on me. This glass of water? Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. You're uh, <laughs> a real man. Did you know? No, uh, Bill paid for that. <laughs> In front of the entire crowd, I'll ask you yet once more, what have been the two highlights on your trip? Seeing Joy and seeing John. I'll, I'll be darned. I was surprised Megan had on a cowboy hat and a long skirt and carried sunflowers. I mean, oh, it was just all that fun. Yeah. It was good. We went to the pool and saw the same thing. Which means the only thing that matters is the polo ties. <laughs> Wayne, Bill said, would you mind doing that one more time? You know, here's, here's why I did this. These folks have been kissing on the whole trip, but I haven't caught them doing it. Museum's here in Santa Fe, the Indian Art Museum. Arts Festival set up inside a beautiful uh, park here in the city. We're going to go up and down these rows and do some serious shopping. Very nice, very pleasant. Uh, it's going to be close to 80 degrees today on Sunday. Our last evening in Santa Fe, the beautiful La Costa yeah. restaurant, which is outdoors in this beautiful pavilion with all these trees, all these beautiful girls. There's Anna, there's, there's Leno. Oh, let me, oh, the necklace has been filmed for posterity. Thank you, George. And uh, there's there's Nealis and there's uh, Dr. Bill, Dr. Bill Langford. There's Judy Martin and, of course, there's Glenda. Yes, and we're so pleased to be here, aren't we? And John's on a plane. And John Burrow's on a plane. Because our other alternative is working. Yes. Or dead. <laughs> anyway, we're looking forward to a wonderful dinner this evening. Gorgeous spot out here among the okay. trees. When I Great move into the condo for the week, I always move the furniture. We move. Hello. You can't pay for and it, but you can you. order Thank you for taking this film. This will be the probably one of the last films we'll have on the trip. And I want to say that I've enjoyed being the unofficial photographer. You all have been wonderful subjects. I want to maybe better than normal. And, uh, in fact, most of your skin looks better than his previous trips. Why is that? <laughs> me, me, except for you. Retin <laughs> and thanks for filming, okay. and it's been a pleasure. Well, and, and it has to be appropriate. I mean, doors are supposed to be parallel with this and that, so energy can flow. Judy Martin is giving a lecture. How do we find out about it? See that. You can get a book. I think Ann and I are going to see that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, there are feng shui, George. Yes, yes. Oh, lots of things, George. Oh, I'm sorry. And, of course, you may have to do some Lane, more do you, reconstruction. Do you have any comments? Oh, yeah, you look so good. Don't you dare do that. Gorgeous fountain is just away from our table tonight a group and just we have this gorgeous thing this uh, thing it's a um, it's an umbrella with lights underneath and just a gorgeous setting the temperature is now uh, uh, into the 70s and going down and we're just having a great time doesn't everybody look good 
Does anybody look good? I mean, they all look good. We wish Carl and Bonnie were here, obviously. Uh, there's a big space missing because of that.